Hi, welcome to another episode of 18 Wheeler Cooking. I'm Mama Cat, and today we are going to be making stuffed flounder with lump crab cakes and broccoli and cheese sauce for our side. Now I've already thawed out the uh, flounder. I bought frozen because despite what you may have heard from your parents or grandparents, frozen fish, unless you happen to be lucky enough to live by the ocean and be able to go to a fisherman's wharf, is actually going to be fresher than the so-called fresh fish. Uh, fresh fish is previously frozen. Don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. It's been frozen at least once, pro probably twice, and thawed. This has only been frozen once, so it's actually fresher. And in today's day and age with technology, the flash freezing process they use to freeze fish is not going to make the meat, the flesh, mushy. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to stuff this with stovetop stuffing. Now I've already pre-made my stuffing because I am quite sure that all of you know how to open up a box of stove to stove top and make it. So I've already done this. Here's my box of stuffing already ready to go. Okay, so now all we gotta do is stuff the flounder. I like this preparation packaging. It makes it very easy for portion control because each little fillet is individually wrapped and frozen. Just going to take about a tablespoon of stuffing, put it about two thirds of the way down the belly of the fish, take our fish, start rolling it up. Just like so. Now I have cotton twine here. It's important. You can use uh, cooking twine or you can just go to the hardware department and get 100% cotton twine. As long as it's cotton, it's going to be okay for your food. length of your string does not have to be exact, it just needs to be long enough to go around your fish. a little bow on here but that isn't necessary you could tie a knot because you're just going to cut this off when it's done cooking anyways now when I come back I will have all of this prepared and ready to go in the oven okay we'll be right back welcome back as you can see I have already rolled up and stuffed my flounder fillets and they are ready to go in our toaster oven next thing we're going to do is our lump crab cakes. Now as you can see of course I've bought ready-made frozen crab cakes. If your store carries them, if you can get to a regular grocery store, a lot of times the seafood department will have them fresh. I however did not have that luxury as I was only able to get to a Walmart. So I've gotten these and they're pretty good. Again, 
again this is really just as simple as opening the package and placing them on the cookie sheet. You know what I always say, just because you're a trucker on the road doesn't mean you can't eat good. Now because we're already having the uh, stuffed flounder fillets, I'm only going to make four of these. This particular box comes with eight, so I will have a second serving for another night. to start our toaster oven. Set it to bake. And set the temperature for 400 degrees. minutes. And there we go. That's all there is to it. Now we're just going to let that cook for 15 minutes. And while that's cooking, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something I've had a lot of my fellow drivers ask me about. They've told me that they are afraid to cook fish in their truck, even though they know it's very good for them because they're afraid of the smell. So I promised I would bring up a couple of suggestions here. The first one, which is my go-to for everything, is called Odoban. It is a deodorant, a disinfectant, and a cleaner. You can find this in Home Depot, Walmart, and even some grocery stores in the cleaning supply, and sometimes in the air freshener area. This, you can spray it on your fabrics, on your floor, pretty much anywhere. It has a very pleasant odor. It's great for destroying those lingering fish smells. My other suggestion <coughs> is called Citrus Magic. This is amazing. It is made with actual citrus oil. It does a great job of pretty much destroying any odors that linger in your truck. I suggest just spraying a small amount on a soft surface and all you'll smell is sweet orange blossoms for days to come. Okay? And then of course, there's your old standby, which is just your standard Febreze air freshener. This is great for just, you know, momentary freshness. Um, I go for a pine scent, citrusy notes, because they are great for counteracting any fish smells. Okay, so we'll be back in about 10 minutes with our finished product, and then we'll put our, plate our uh, side dishes, and we'll be good to go. Hi, welcome back. Alright, our fish and crab cakes are all finished cooking, so let's take a look at them. Wow, those look wonderful. I'm just going to put a couple of those right on here. You can see how beautifully those turned out. Our crab cakes as well. Now while these were cooking, I went ahead and microwaved my broccoli and poured a little cheese sauce on. So that's all ready, ready to go. 
That literally was just taking some frozen broccoli, putting it in the bowl here and microwaving it for about three minutes and then putting the cheese sauce on and microwaving it for one more minute. Now I will point out this is not one of my quicker meals but I think it's worth a little extra effort. And there you have it. Stuffed flounder, jumbo lump crab cakes, and broccoli and cheese sauce. Enjoy!